that, like uh, Kyler Murray, uh, and obviously the threat he poses in the running game, how does that affect your coverage and knowing your need that you've got to come up and, and, and keep the edge protected too? I mean, I'm coverage first, so I mean, those plays are going to be extended um, just because of his ability to escape um, and make plays down the field. So, I mean, my main concern right now is just being able to cover and stay on coverage throughout the dirt, throughout the play, um, and just really being disciplined and coming up when it's time to come up and not being too anxious and not letting balls go over my head. And to that end, we're assuming you're going to see DeAndre Hopkins this Sunday, another one of the special guys. I know you've talked about liking those challenges. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna see um, what the game plan is and what's the best um, what the best situation is for the defense. Um, and then when it comes Sunday, we're gonna see what happens. When you've been watching the film of Hopkins, besides his just obvious physical skills, what does he do that makes him? I would say him tracking the ball, um, just being very deceptive on um, where the ball is coming. Um, you kind of see subtle movements when the ball is really in the air to kind of get the DB either off balance or thinking the ball is coming somewhere that it's really not. So, I mean, just little vet things like that that he has learned over the years. Um, and he has a tremendous catch radius and just being able to really track the ball and make tough catches. Jalen, did things change for you at all when all season long Kendall Vildor is starting opposite of you and then all of a sudden Artie Burns is in? How does that affect you? How does that affect the defense? How does it affect me? I don't think it affects me individually. I mean, at the end of the day, whoever is in that position, um, I'm trusting, I'm communicating with throughout the week, um, throughout the game. Um, so, I mean, no matter who it is, my approach to the game and how I um, am as a teammate doesn't really change at all. I mean, even for the defense, I feel like we can all say the same thing. I feel like the standard is the standard, and whoever's in, we're going to communicate, fly around and try to make plays on the ball. Uh, Jalen, DeAndre is one of those guys who's, you know, if he's not the best receiver in football, he's certainly on the short list. When you know you're getting that shot to cover a guy like that, what, what what kind of emotion do you feel? Like, how does it feel when you're getting ready to cover what could be the best receiver in football? I mean, just ready to see it, see what it looks like, see what it feels like. I mean, because it's easy to say what somebody can do good on film or oh, somebody is this or somebody's not that. So I mean, at the end of the day, you got to go out there and you got to line up. Um, and I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, it's not anything I haven't faced already. I feel like I faced a pretty good amount of wide receiver ones. Um, so I mean, at the end of the day, for me, it's just staying true to who I am um, and being confident in my preparation, being confident in my ability, and going out there and performing the same way I have all year. When you, when you look at the entirety of the defensive performance from Detroit, what jumped out at you? I would definitely say stuff in a run. I thought like we did a very good job with that. Um, we knew that's what they wanted to come in and set the tone and do was run the ball. And I feel like our D line and our linebackers flew around and really um, set the tone in the in the run game for sure. And I feel like we uh, tackled well and we swarmed to the ball. Was there a part of you that was wanting to get out for one final drive on Thursday just to to be able to close? I mean, I wanted the W. So how are we going to get the W? Uh, I didn't I didn't mind at all. Um, Roquan missed the second half of that game and might not play this week. What's the impact of his absence? Uh, I know he's you always want to have another guy, but he he seems like a pretty big part. I mean, just being able to fill that role, I feel like isn't going to be easy in terms of just his leadership, the energy that he brings to the defense. Um, and even through his performance, through his um, just ability to make plays and impact the game, I feel like it's going to be hard to replace. But I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, the standard is the standard. So whoever fills that spot um, is going to come in and have that same impact, hopefully. So I mean, at the end of the day, we just got to keep moving and keep filling guys in um, and next guy up. What was the weekend like for you after a pretty stressful week? Was, were you able to relax? And, and Have you noticed that the guys came back feeling a little more refreshed or, or at least ready to put last week behind them? I mean, I don't think last week was a stressful week. But, I mean, I, I mean everybody feels better coming off a of W. Um, so, I mean, for me, I didn't take any different approach. I mean, I went home and see my family, see my daughter. So, I mean, for me, it was just being able to escape and have that um, comfort. Um, but other than that, I mean, the game is a game. Um, the season is a season right now. We just got to keep moving forward and keep getting better. You talk about the defense playing up to this standard that you guys set, even if it's second team guys coming in. You've had so many injuries, though. How difficult is it in terms of getting on the same page to have a new guys coming in at different positions every week? I mean, for the guys who have been in the game consistently, I feel like it, it, it shouldn't change for us. Um, I feel like at the end of the day, we communicate 
the same way, no matter if it's a starter or if it's um, somebody from another team coming in and trying to fulfill that spot. I mean, the communication is the communication, being on the same page is being on the same page, regardless of who's in there. Um, and I mean, those guys, I would expect them to be doing extra studying um, and extra film work with the coaches or whatever to be able to learn the language and learn exactly what's going on. But out there on the field, I feel like the standard of communication is what the standard is, no matter who's out there. How do you not let it affect you mentally when you keep having some of your most important players go down week after week? I mean, I can't control that. I mean, I worry about what I can control. And at the end of the day, that's doing my 111th and doing my job. Um, and I mean, I thought that that's hard enough on its own. So, I mean, I'm not too focused on other factors that are going on around me, just really being able to tone in on what I can get better at um, and keep playing ball. Is that the approach you took when you say it wasn't a stressful week? Because from the outside looking in, a lot of rumors flying around and reports about your head coach and just about the organization as a whole. How did you block out that noise? And do you feel like your teammates did that as well? I mean, I honestly, I think it's funny. I mean, at the end of the day, that noise is noise. And I mean, I feel like that's your guys' job more so than my job is to worry about and what's going on outside of the football fields. So, I mean, for me, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. I don't think any other guys were too worried about it. I mean, of course, it was a topic of conversation, but I don't think anybody was over the edge in any type of sort like that. So, I mean, just really being able to focus in. I mean, we got bigger things to worry about if we're worried about outside noises after a five-game losing streak. When you didn't end up seeing Lamar a couple of weeks ago, obviously he was sick, and, and you know Kyler's just so unique. Have you seen, does he remind you of anybody and his ability to just extend plays with the timing he does? What are the talking points for your defense with the quarterback? I mean, Kyler is Kyler. I've been watching him since high school. Uh, so, I mean, his ability to run and extend plays, and, I mean, he has a very strong arm. So, I mean, with that combination of speed and arm talent, it, it, it's very hard to guard. Um, but, I mean, at the end of the day, everybody just has to do their job. Um, we got to contain them up front, and then in the back end, we got to cover. Was that disappointing when Lamar Jackson didn't play? Do you, do you want to go up against the best? Same thing with Kyler Murray. Oh, 100%. I mean, I don't, I don't want any of the top guys to miss a game. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I couldn't be too concerned and, about that because I know Tyler, um, he was coming in. He was ready to play just like um, Lamar was. So, I mean, at the end of the day, I'll play against whoever lines up. But, yeah, I was definitely excited for that. Thanks, Jalen.